effort to stop a proposed development, but their fight is not over. So they told Ken Amaro what developers are proposing and what it would create a public safety hazard and destroy their community. Anthony, we've seen communities pushing back against new development before, but in this fight, Mandarin homeowners say they have plausible motive to keep this proposed development out of their community. It simply does not fit. It's a community wrapped in the beauty of its tree canopy. And my family's lived in Mandarin almost 100 years. And now hundreds of homeowners are trying to preserve the character of Mandarin from big developers. If this zoning goes through, then the surrounding properties are going to start falling like dominoes and you're going to lose the historic nature of the area. Tracy Arpin lives in the area. It basically goes along here. And Sean Reichard lives next to the proposed development site on County Dock Road. I was shocked when I heard the intensity, when I heard they were looking to put 21 acres on, or 21 houses on a piece of a land this size. Developers want to build four homes per acre on the nine acre site, but it requires a zoning change. Adding 21 additional houses to this, to a substandard road, just isn't right for the area and it's not right for Mandarin. Residents say County Dock Road is 16 feet wide, not even accessible to school buses and fire trucks now. This road is already over capacity. They say what's being proposed would create a real public safety hazard. It's a historic road that's covered by the scenic and historic road ordinance. And there's only three of those in the city of Jacksonville and it's meant to protect that tree canopy. So the road can't be widened by law. Arpin says clearly this project is not a fit for the community. This project is really incompatible with the existing zoning. The Planning Commission agrees, voting five to two against it. But the City Council's Land Use and Zoning Committee has yet to vote. So this is something you know, they should be able to get right. Now several organizations are against the proposed zoning change, including the Mandarin Museum and Historical Society and the Sierra Club. Attorney Paul Harden, who represents the developer, said he had no comment. And District Councilman Matt Schellenberg told me he can't take a position until all substantiated evidence is heard. The issue goes to a City Council Committee next month. Ken Amaro, on your side tonight. Thank you, Ken. Well, rain is...